So let's have a quick look at how we can add um, a smart object look-alike, a smart object look-alike to our Affinity Photo uh, workflow. So I've got one ready-made here. Now this you might recognise is the is the YouTube uh, thumbnail that I use, and in the middle I've got a, a color, a picture of a girl, slightly green color. Now here's all of the layers that go with that. Now let's highlight the layer with the girl in green. Now this is as close as I can get to actually building a smart object in, um, in Affinity Photo. And in this object, um, we can change the image within the frame. Now I've got, to, let's have a look down the layers. That's the group at the top there, the rectangle. Now brightness, I can turn the brightness on and off. These are various options I've got in there. The HSL shift, turn that off, turn it on. That's where I put it to the green. This is the transparent, the border with a transparent background. This is a frame I took from another actual Photoshop PSD object, but this one, there we go. That's just the image, but there's the frame around it. Now, what I can do with this, because I've brought one in, you'll notice all layers are locked. I can turn that layer off, turn that layer on, different image. Turn that layer off, turn that layer on, different image again. That's all there is to it, really. You put that in there. Now, when you draw these photos in from outside, they won't... Um, Auto automatically adjust to where you want them. You've got to fiddle around a little bit and do that yourself. So let's bring one in and, and see. But it does work as, as, a, as a smart object in that, let's put the uh, one shot of the mountain in there and I can turn that on or I'll turn that off, turn that on or turn that off. And you can see that it does change it. So let's select that one there but we'll draw in another image let's see let's go look in unsplash for a rocket where's something that's worthwhile putting in there we go drop that in there and there's the rocket within the boundaries but there's no board around it. Let's drop it down to there. We'll turn the girl off. Now, oddly enough, you can see that there's only a piece of the rocket in there, but that's actually within a larger image, and you can see the larger image out there. So let's try something here. What I want to see is what size that image is. 1055 by 703. Let's go back to this one. See, that's 6000. So let's change that to 1055 by 653. Okay, now you can see it's right up there in the top left hand corner. Oops, and I just. There it is, top left hand corner. Let's draw it down to there. Make our whole image a little bit bigger. Because what we want to do is get the rocket in there. Now because it's because it's um quite a bit off centered. Let's just tilt that. And there's the rocket in there. Lock that layer. Now we can have a rocket, a girl, a mountain, or another mountain. Let's go back to the rocket image. There we go. 
Now anything that you put in here, any other variations, will affect every image that you highlight in there. And that's really all there is to it. Simple.